LED bulb is damaged now you can see it is not glowing so really this is a trash or I have to dump it in the dumpster or we can bring back to life of this uh, LED circuit so as you know this is uh, the whole video is about the repairing of this uh, type of LED bulb and uh, I am also want to add uh, uh, some point like uh, some uh, LED business uh, some people want to start a uh, LED business but they are facing a huge amount of loss because they don't know properly how can we uh, calculate the uh, all the formulas or they are not doing a proper testing because uh, in uh, in this LED business the testing is a very important part and really you need uh, some good engineer or one of uh, maybe you have some uh, your engineer friends those are good in calculation so you can uh, take a help uh, from them so and uh, I want to say that from nowadays I am just searching about this topic of this LED bulb uh, how can we repair it so I got a thousand of uh, videos on YouTube but no one uh, showing you a correct and accurate data so everyone know why this happening and why this component is uh, attached in this circuit and what is the use of this uh, component in this circuit and what is the power system using India because India uh, India not using a RPS system uh, restructure power system uh, because we uh, India is a not a developed country so, but uh, in other countries they are using a RPS system so they are they all are getting a uh, fixed uh, voltage and ampere supply but in India uh, this is not possible because it is a developing country so what is happening there is a three type of circuit available uh, in this uh, led uh, business uh, one is ic dropper circuit so right now i am repairing uh, this uh, this one led bulb because uh, this is a ic driver circuit but we are just converting uh, this into capacitor dropper circuit so second type of led market is capacitor dropper circuit and third is dob so dob is a very uh, worst quality of LED bulb you can say right now nowadays is not coming uh, in a good quality uh, you can't see the good quality in DOB bulbs so the capacitor dropper circuit uh, uh, there is a good market uh, if we talk about uh, in that in, the, in that type of circuit so you can you can make uh, that type of driver uh, uh, by order uh, some raw material but you need a proper testing or you need a some uh, good engineer and uh, good calculation you know that then you will uh, get a very small replacing and no one of your customer will return you the damaged bulb so you will not face any loss after this but uh, actually uh, i search that type of video on youtube so many type of uh, uh, electrician and technician are there they are not engineers because they are they are just even they don't know the formula only they know uh, actually they disassemble uh, the one LED bulb and they they just to uh, go what is part is attached in the circuit and after that uh, they will make a circuit in uh, normal PCB board and uh, for for getting a views they are just making a that, that type of video but they are not showing uh, any formula and everything because if anyone want uh, want uh, want to make a three watt uh, LED bulb, so how can he make uh, that type of uh, bulb? You know, only he can just to copy of that video whatever they are showing. So basically, and that's why I'm just making this uh, video because after watch this video, uh, you will get a tremendous amount of uh, knowledge, and after uh, I will show you what modification you can just to. Uh, do in that type of circuit so your led uh, mc mc pcb led this is the mc pcb led you have to just match the um, match the ampere of this this uh, this is a ic driver circuit and this is the mc pcb so you have to just match the uh, both ampere of driver and mc pcb and the power and voltage everything so after that your mc pcb led will not uh, producing produce any a lot of amount of heat and it will sustain a long time or 
and you can sell in the market uh, in one year warranty so but so many of guys just to curious that why the ic dropper circuit is in the market actually the you know the actually what uh, is happening in ic driver circuit there in in this uh, there is a ic so ic is just to uh, varying a voltage and current because you know power is equal to vi so when the voltage is zero then it increases the uh, this size increase the uh, current so you will get the proper voltage of your M mcpcb need or it will not uh, increase up to the uh, whatever your the mcpcb watt or voltage so that's how it is working but uh, the problem in that type circuit only the this ic you can see only this and this is a ic doper i see you can see so most of the time it is damaged and after uh, you can't repair it only you have to just find this ic but this is a very uh, hardly you can find in the market so you have to just to uh, convert the circuit into capacitor of circuit and it is a very easy task after watch this video you can easily fix it and in the next time i will talk about the whole uh, what is the uh, that hoax they are creating led industries uh, because many of you guys and people are just watching that type of videos that uh, you uh, because the many of need to be showing that uh, after ordering order or uh, some raw material available you can easily assemb assemble it and make a ready one so after watch that type of video uh, some people order that uh, that uh, raw material of led work and after they are just making the same whatever they show in, in that video but what uh, what happened they will uh, uh, face a huge amount of loss and they are just getting a huge amount of replacing and customer uh, they are uh, returning uh, more led work so it is happening because they are just want, want to they are just to, you can say they are advertising uh, their their type of industries uh, because there is a tie up or there is a some commission between in that type of youtubers because they they are a technician also and they are also a distributor so that's why they are just making at that type of video but nowadays i am watching that type of video but uh, today i just i for that why, why not i'm making this type of video so i just made it so i will show you how can we fix it and next time i will show you uh, with a raw material how can we make any type of any wattage of led bulb so let's check it okay now let's start it so this is uh, our led one that is damaged so i already open it but you have to just to uh, when you are just open opening if you are open the first time so you have to just desoldering that point and after you have to just to open this slowly because uh, sometimes it is very easy to open it sometimes it is very hard so after you can see this mc pcb uh, led so right now i'm just to desoldering it i am just removing my mc pcb led and now that's how you can just open the ic driver so this is the our main concern so as you can see this is a circuit so what is happening actually whenever uh, your led bulb is damaged you have to just open it and first you have to just check it uh, you have to just check it the all component that are attached in the circuit by this multimeter and if you don't know how can uh, you check then you can comment uh, in this video and i will show you and then after check by this multimeter Uh, you can see the which, which component is damaged, and if you check the all the component are good and even uh, the LED bulb not glowing, then you have to just check your your MC PCB LED, and you have to just uh, check the uh, may maybe there is a one LED will be short. So in the end, in this uh, in the end of this video, I will show you uh, because uh, the one of LED that I removed from this MC PCB LED, you can see this two mark. Uh, there is a one one led was present but i just desolder it but in the end i will show you how can i fix it so first you have to just check the component by multimeter and second uh, you have to check mcpcb led and third is 
everything is going still not uh, light is going that means you are uh, this IC this is the 8 pin IC so this IC is damaged and mostly time this is happened because uh, all this driver are branded driver and the you can see the SMD register so there is a the that are hardly can damaged in that type of circuit because SMD component are uh, have a very hard capability so and there is a one capacitor water but I just disordered it right now because uh, I will show you the ampere watt our driver we show you ampere because uh, when you take an ampere with this capacitor then your multimeter will damage so for measurement of ampere you have to just disordering that uh, capacitor if you are taking checking an ampere without load otherwise you are capacitor also uh, damaged or it can explode without load I will show you what is happening so first we have to just understand what is happening and what we are just doing and modifying in this circuit so as you can see this is uh, this is the uh, circuit it is a very simple circuit uh, because uh, as you can see the 250 volt supply and we are just giving 50 hertz and we are just we are just going to attach a one polyester capacitor and there is a one discharging uh, resistor and one is a one uh, register for safety purposes we are just using it right now and after this connection is going in in this full wave rectifier uh, you all are familiar all this uh, electronic switch because know that uh, things what I'm talking about and after the output is taking from this uh, base rectifier and after according to this circuit there is a one uh, inductor is connect uh, there is a inductor so this is an inductor and this one is uh, capacitor is connected this is a smoothing capacitor was connected so I am showing you in this again there is a one discharging resistance 80 ohm and after the our MCPC value is connected so what we are doing actually that time the IC is uh, working fine that time the connection was different I will show you in another video because it is a very complex uh, video and very long video and I will show you definitely because it is not a very big deal for me because it is uh, same like a triple five timer this IC work uh, actually it maintain the uh, power is equal to VI so right now this is damaged so we are just uh, doing what you can see this is a bridge rectifier so we can just make uh, make this bridge rectifier by use of diode raw material but right now there is a bridge rectifier so, uh, same of this bridge rectifier uh, this uh, bridge rectifier IC same the working of this uh, IC so we are just uh, doing nothing we are just providing the input signal in this two terminal and we are just taking output from this two terminal but uh, actually the the positive terminal of this bridge we have to just to complete the circuit so our positive terminal terminal will come out from this so there is a some voltage uh, between this diode so i was uh, i was that on this uh, on youtube many of uh, youtubers showing that you have to just connect positive terminal to here but i am saying that you have to just check uh, check the continuity uh, on the continuity mode by your multimeter so right now I'm showing, showing you I'm just so you can see the I'm sh I'm showing you I'm taking a continuity test so I'm just to put my probe at positive terminal here and when I just found this is a inductor coil and where just I found uh, some resistance here As you can see there is a beep sound is coming so I am just uh, just shorting uh, one wire from this uh, positive terminal of this rectifier to this uh, front of this diode I am not attaching my wire for, uh, here so let's see it
so as you can see we just connect the POSI terminal of this rectifier here we just connect it right as you can see we are just getting a continuity from here after this register to this positive terminal but I am prefer to attach wire here because we are just getting some register uh, we just can reduce some voltage and we can just say our MCPC ability to get heat get hot so right now what we have to just do it right now after do some modification we just made our circuit like this everything is complete only the uh, polyester capacitor and the resistor that is shorting resistor and one capacitor and the show discharging resistor is remaining so we have to just attach it so i'm going to attach it so uh, right now i'm taking a 15j one microfarad polyester capacitor So as you can see, we just connect this. This is a positive capacitor. This is a discharging resistor. So we we can't shop electricity. From this attach uh, resistor, we can save save us from get a, get a, uh, some high voltage shock. So right now we have to just to just uh, only the one capacitor is remaining but first i will show you how we can choose the uh, all all the things that are we just choosing this capacitor so i am showing you here for this pulse capacitor you have to just make this formula r is equal to vn minus v load upon i and this is a required ampere uh, suppose uh, this is a 10 watt uh, mcpc LED i need uh, for glow this uh, proper glow this mcpc LED we need a 100 milliampere so we are taking a 100 milliampere and vn is 352 and um, what is 352 actually this is a peak to peak voltage uh, because this there is a formula vpp peak to peak voltage is equal to vrms into root 2 so uh, vrms is 250 volt ac supply into root 2 is equal to we get uh, that's how we get 352 and 100 is our required voltage uh, from by this voltage our mcpc led will glow so that's how we just calculate the resistance and this is the xc xc is a, a capacitance we are just assuming this is a uh, our capacitance so as we know the formula of capacitor 1 upon omega c is equal to 1.25 fc and we just uh, put the value in this formula and we get a capacitor value 1.2 microfarad but we are using 1 microfarad because we don't have a 1.2 and this is not available in market so we have to just use 1 microfarad here okay and one more thing i want to show you what value of resistor we have to choose so as we know we know that p is equal to v square max or uh, this is a formula and we are taking 800 kilo ohm so, so 800 kilo ohm and the voltage of this resistor 1 by 4 uh, because the normal resistors have a voltage of 1 by 4 in electronics and many of many of engineers they are just doing i take everyone they don't know the resistance have a, uh, this type of voltage uh, even they are just working in mnc this is the irony of education system so you can calculate the vmax there is a 447 volt so what is the vmax actually after when we give a 500 volt that time this uh, uh, resistance will burn so that's how we can